Hola personas del internet, como están? Welcome back to my channel. So this is Ernie right here. So I don't have James with me today. He is here, but you know, he has, he has things to do. So what I'm gonna do today in this channel is actually style one of the James Mansfield beauty wigs. This one is called... Pardon me, Midnight Black. <laughs> Damn, I forgot the name of this. And I help you with this, James. <laughs> so James is actually in the other room working on a dress. But I'm going to style the Part of Me Midnight Black wig from James Mansfield. Beauty. So let's get started. It already comes out. And my, my bad, if I look this way a lot, that's because I set up a little TV for myself to see what I'm doing or how the frame looks. Because I'm filming this on my own. James is not behind the camera helping because he busy. Okay. So this is how it comes already, like out of the bag. It already has pretty much volume. You can honestly just wear this. It gives me like pretty much like, it kind of gives me like mullet vibes, but it's not a mullet, like a mullet shag kind of. All right, so the first things first, I'm gonna tease the wig. It already does come with perma tease. All right, so let me tease this wig. So I'm just gonna give it an all around tease. Oops, this is the smoothie brush. Oops, already failing. Now, I style wigs every now and then. I don't do it as often as James, so I really don't have that much experience. So I'm just trying to show you that even if you don't have that much experience with wigs, you too can style a James Mansfield beauty wig. Now, the plan of this video is I was just gonna style it on my own, and then at the end, I was just gonna have James come in and, and just basically touch up stuff to see where I could improve. That way you know if you're at home and you're basically like a viewer and you try to like style a wig by your own, on your own, and then you, you honestly don't know where you're going, maybe this will help at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna tease the rest of the wig off camera and I'll be right back. All right, I am back, I teased the wig. And now we're gonna go with the pick and reinforce the teasing. So basically when you tease, you start like pushing some of the hair down and you start creating like a little cloud like at the base and what I'm doing with this is basically grabbing some of the hair that didn't quite all the way make it down to the cloud and just pushing it down and reinforcing that so that's basically all you do all around and James has basically taught you this on his channel plenty of times but I'm just letting you know just in case you don't know just in case you don't pay attention to James you're one of those uh, kids in class that just sleeps and doesn't pay attention. And then the teacher calls on you and you're like, um, two plus two equals four. Now, in the comment section, let me know, were you one of those kids that always fell asleep? Like in class and then the teacher called up on you and you completely made up a whole story. You just bullshit your way through the answer. Were you good at that? I never was. But I barely showed up to class. <laughs> Yeah, I was one of those kids. My bad, my bad teachers, my bad. All right, and if you see a flat spot, don't be afraid to just re-tease a section. Sometimes like I style a wig and I'm like, damn, this section looks flat. And James is just like, re-tease it. And I'm like, but I just put in all that work smoothing. Why would I do that? And then I re-tease it and it looks better. So yeah, that's basically wig styling. It's just repetition. And that's why a lot of people don't do it because it becomes tedious, but I don't know. I think it's cool the way you can just transform some fibers into something. So now we are going to smooth. So what I do for the smooth out process, I just grab the wig, flip it upside down, and just start brushing. That way it gives it a little bit more volume. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I'm falling apart here, y'all. And just basically start brushing the wig in the direction you wanted it to go. I kind of want to give it like a little soup with a bang moment. But we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. I'm basically just gracing the top of the hair. Like not hitting the bottom. Like not going straight to the root because then that's going to undo all the teasing we just did. And we don't want to do that, dude, girl. And watch this video be a complete fail and just be like, James, just style the whole thing. Just come back and style the whole thing. <laughs> I tried, I tried. I tried so hard. I haven't done this in so long, y'all. And you know, with wig styling, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Now this year, I did not celebrate Halloween. I wish I would have. I was gonna go as like, a BDSM daddy. 
And you know what? My plans got cancelled and I'm just like, you know what? I'm okay. I'm good. The world wasn't ready for Ernie to be the SM daddy. I was gonna be a vampire, so basically my story was gonna be that one day, after a long night of hooking, I'm just playing. <laughs> That's somebody else's story. But basically I was gonna be like a vampire, be the SM daddy. About everything. And then, about the harness, about everything. And then I just didn't do it. I just didn't go out. It was just one of them days, you know, I was like, mm, I would rather stay home. So what you do for Halloween? Comment down below. Do you see it yet? Do you see the vision? The blurry vision. Because I'm not there yet. I may have to re-tee some sections. I'm just trying to mold the hair how I want it to go with my fingers. And some sections are going to need some more teasing. Like right here, you see how flat this is? Time to tease this. Are you seeing what I'm going for? Are you seeing what I'm going for? <sighs> Alright, so I'm brushing the outer layer again. Smooth it out. I don't want to go with hairspray yet. Uh, I don't think it's ready for hairspray because I'm trying to make sure the sections that I want high enough are like teased to how I want it. And if I grab some of the back hairs into this bang, I'm just gonna ch ch chop those. Now I want more volume here, so I'm gonna re tease. Whew, oh my god. Wick style takes a lot of time. I know on James chat. Ooh. I know on James channel we edit it to look like 15-20 minutes but honestly sometimes we're there for like a few hours and don't get discouraged if you try this at home and you don't get it right away like I've been on and off styling every now and then and I still don't get it girl I get a little bit of it to get something fortunately I live with James which sometimes is like gives you the right pointers to send me in the right direction and I know y'all don't have that at home, so don't feel discouraged if it doesn't come out exactly the same. Just keep practicing. Just remember, if something looks flat, re-tease, and you can always smooth it again. So, that's just basically it. It's just repetition of the same old stuff. Teasing and smoothing. Teasing and smoothing and structuring with your hands. Oh, and don't expect this to be the norm on my channel because I only have one style in me. <laughs> and you're gonna see it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna keep structuring this with my fingers see where I wanted to go and I'll be right back with the hairspray and the blow dryer be right back all right so I am back and this is how the wig is looking right now I just want a little soup with a bang so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with what James calls a wet spray because in hairspray there's wet and it is dry I do not know the difference I should probably google it but just go on here spray the wig and then we're gonna go in with the blow dryer and what I do, because I basically, after I hairspray it, I take the smoothing brush and go like this, and I heat up the fibers. That way it just stays hard in this place. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, but basically it's, the fibers are hard now because of the combination of the heat and the hairspray. And it's, they're just hard going up. So that way, when I bring some hairs this way, they just lay and then the curls could just go wherever they go and then I just reinforce the curls and hairspray them where, wherever I want so right now it's looking like this and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side now you are able to brush over it still if you don't like the results and it will just make it smoother again um, you can just go ahead, go ahead and reinforce it again with hairspray now, something that I should mention is do not spray a lot of hairspray like I just did or else you're gonna end up with like hairspray clumps like this. Well, it's not really that noticeable, but it's noticeable for me. You're gonna end up with a little white hair, hairspray residue on the wig. So you're basically supposed to like spray it from afar, like just the tiniest bit and then go in with the blow dryer, which I forgot myself because I don't style that often. Alright, so I like it like this so far. Now, if you're also new like me, you could also, to hide your mistakes, is just put a lot of decorations here. Put some flowers. Put some little butterflies. Some spiders, something, you know. You can do that. And then that way you look more pro. You're like, yeah, I style this myself. What? I'm pro. What? Get at me. Toss me some money and I'll do it for you too. You could do that. Alright, so now I'm going to grab the pick and basically, you know that base teasing we have right here? 
the one we packed down basically since it's a little cloud now it has to be like a cloud you can't you don't want to condense it to where it's like a knot you want to like a nice poofy cloud well you're basically gonna just pick that up in the back that way the back of the hair has some volume as well oh she is giving me rockera vibes rocker vibes come on come on just pull it up with your fingers too come on Ooh, come on but you know what I have been living for on YouTube right now I've been living for a lot of um, artists that are not usually in the Latin demographic the Latino demographic the Latina demographic uh, jumping into the music like uh, Lisa from Blackpink she did a little reggaeton song with DJ Snake and I was like oh come on come on come on Lisa Ziza she was just singing in Spanish with Kali Uchis I was like oh Oh, you better work. You better tell that man that he is not P-O-O-P. -O -O well, I could say poop. But, you know, she didn't say that. She said the other way you say poop, but in Spanish, the bad way. And I was like, you better work. And guess what? Christina Aguilera also just dropped a song in Spanish, which I always forget that she's like part Ecuadorian, I believe. I read her Wikipedia, but I know she's like half Latina on her dad's side and I always forget because she's always blonde rocking the blonde hair almost like when people forget that James is Mexican half Mexican but you know what she's going back to her she's representing her Ecuadorian roots in this reggaeton song it was cute it was a cute moment it kind of reminded me of how she did her Spanish album back in the day when she first debuted all right so ah uh, oh girl ooh. I don't know. I don't know if I slayed as much as I thought I was gonna slay. So that's why I'm gonna have James come in in a moment and just just tell me what I did wrong or just give me more advice on what I should do to bring this wig to the next level. But let me just mess around with it a little bit before he comes in. See maybe if I can fix a few things. But I'll be right back with James. Actually, I lied. James is not back yet. I actually just started like teasing a little bit more of the back and pulling the teasing with the pick but now I'm going to kind of brush the bottoms of these hairs. Like I said, just grab, brush, because I don't want to pull the teasing. Because I want it to look messy but also like kind of nice at the bottom, you know what I'm saying? You know what? I have not hairsprayed the curls. What am I doing? What am I doing? Here, let me just give it a little, a little nice curl right here. Now the bang I still need to trim, but I'm not worrying about the bang right now. I should probably just tease it a tiny bit. Let me just trim these excess hairs from the bang. Angle, angle. Ooh, she looking like something. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm picking at the top layer of the wig so I could get rid of some of the knots. If there are any, which I'm not really feeling much. And it just gives the wig like a nice little smooth, smooth kind of look. Alright, now I'm picking up the teasing again. And then I'm just gonna hairspray a little bit with the wet hairspray. Because I don't want to go with that got to be glue yet. Because I'm gonna see what changes James is gonna do. And then I'll hit it with that. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to go back to the earlier subject. What, like, Latino crossover do you like? Like I know Beyonce sang in Spanish before. Mariah Carey has. What like Spanish song crossover did you not expect? Like I wasn't expecting Lisa. She sang in English though, but you know what? She still did a little reggaeton song. Watch, I'm gonna spend all this time doing this and James is gonna come over and just like, done. Now I'm really just enforcing the curls just to make it look like I styled something. <laughs> no. Okay, I, I thought that looked cooler in my head. I'm just gonna take them down, okay? I'm just gonna take them down. Hope you don't mind. All right, so I am actually okay with this. This is what I got. Let's give her a little twirl. I'm okay with this. I'm not mad, okay? I might need a little more smoothing in the back, but you know what? That is why we're gonna have James come in right now after the static. All right, we're back, and here comes Jay. Oh my God! <sighs> yeah, this is how the wig is supposed to look. Let's see if it looks anything like this. <laughs> Mine is different. Mine has more personality. I mean, I'm serving more of a TV movie of the week. Let's see what yours is serving. Okay. 
You know, I see what you try to do here. All right, well, here, I'm gonna take this off for now. Here, let me see how I look with that one. Okay. Oh my God, I look like, am I gonna look like Eddie Guerrero? Probably. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh my God, I look like, like I'm ready to just go back in my low rider and smoke a <laughs> it's definitely a little bit of a Chong, a Tommy Chong kind of moment. You know what? I'm gonna keep this on. Okay, well, let's see. So, okay, let me just mention that my teasing skills are not as good as James. I cannot get the hair this big. This is honestly the part in me, Midnight, what? Midnight Black. Midnight Black. Oh my That's god. The black version of it. The black version of it, Midnight Black, and it's so big. And mine is just like, it's the same wig, but it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more tamed. Like I still, I still wanted like a little bit of smoothness and just a little bit of curl messy messiness up here. With a wig like this, the way it's built, these '80s hairstyles, the way they are supposed to go—I shouldn't say supposed to go—but the best way to really approach this is to make use of all of the bang because they give you a lot of it. You don't need this much of a thick bang. Yeah, I was gonna leave a bang right there. I'm not a bang person. And especially with a hard front like this, you don't really want to pull back like that because it's gonna be seen on the side of someone's head. It's not a lace front. You know what, I forgot about that. Cause I usually, when I style wigs, I usually ventilate hair uh, lace fronts. I ventilate like a whole new hairline and then I just, that's what I do. I slick it back and I did not even take into consideration <laughs> the fact that this front. is a hard front. And these bangs are really long in the front. I usually trim my, the one you had on, I trim the bangs on it. They're made to be longer so you could trim them to your face to you know frame whatever works best for you. Or you can keep them long and, you know, have that look. Maybe you got a big forehead, I don't know your story, but, you know, they're made to be shaped to your face. We have to be more like those high-end wig companies and be a little more like this face-shaping unit. They always talk about a wig like as an accessory, too. I notice that a lot. Like, nothing completes a wardrobe better than a wig. All right, so is she done then? She is done. I think she looks pretty. So go ahead. Let's rewind from the beginning. I'm going to show how my wig looked before. What did you do different to make your wig look from what mine used to look to a little more poofier version like this? Honestly, it's just a matter of little finishing touches. Like I just re-tease a few sections in the front and I used the pick and used what teasing you had already there because it was good teasing and just brought it a little more higher up just to give the hair more shape. Because that's what you can do at the end with the pick and everything is basically just help shape the hair. And by that, you know, make it bigger, make it more cohesive that kind of stuff. And you see, and this is why I told you, don't be afraid to re-tease and oh, reshape. Absolutely, don't be afraid to re-tease the hair. Because after a while, when I style, I'm like, ugh, that's why I can't do it in one sitting like James does. That's why I'm telling you, this is not gonna be a normal thing. It's like, I was just like, I need to get this video over with. I shaped it, I got it how I wanted it to be, and I'm like, it's done. But then you see, if you come back like a day later, or just an hour later, and just notice that it's a little too small, just re-tease and reshape and respray and it could be a little bit bigger. Yep. So just be patient if you're at home doing this for the first time. Just grab a wig. She's has a beauty wig. Preferably. And, and then just start styling it. Don't you don't have to do it in one sitting because YouTube is a lie. YouTube is a lie. We <laughs> edit this down. This takes hours, okay? Yeah, and like I said about the pardon me, like it's made to be a specific country artist kind of hairstyle, but you can get as creative with you as you want, as you saw Ernie do right now. Oh, oh. Who's that? Country artist. So now I'm gonna just hairspray with got to be glue. So it can just remain. Actually, let me see. Is it ready for got to be glue? Do you think it's ready for got to be glue? I think she is. It'll help you also help with the strays too when you start to spray it with the got to be glue. You can okay. tame the sprays. Are right, you tame the sprays then? Wow. Just like that, it's easy. <laughs> I'm trying to spray from far away because I don't want that hairspray white residue all up on the wig. Yeah, it can leave sort of a foam on black hair that makes it look kind of gray. All right, so there she is. This is the part of me in color. Midnight Black. Midnight Black. You can get this on jamesmanswellbeauty.com. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, deuces. deuces. Also, if you're not subscribed to James' YouTube channel, you better go subscribe. Subscribe right now. Because that's going to be a lot of more wig content over there and over here. All right. Bye. Adios. Bye. I'm not trying to show off too much of my bicep for these people on your channel. <laughs> uh, uh, look at all that muscle going on. Yeah.